People who make video game movies have no souls and should burn in fucking hell. Hey guys, it's me, Donkey. After watching this new Sonic trailer, the first thought that went through my mind was, how much money did they spend on this? $10, $15, well, assuming that this is on par with G-Force, they've spent a minimum of $150 million on this Sonic here that you are seeing. That, that's the one. 150 million dollars. Now, think about all the things you could achieve with 150 million dollars. You could feed a village of starving children 15 generations over. You could build and fund schools, hospitals. You could even make a movie where the Sonic doesn't look like my created character from Sonic Forces. Remember back when people were angry that they made Sonic's arms blue? Can we return to that time period? I, I'll even take this one at this point. Man, I don't even take this one. In video games, the person who sets the bar for everyone else is Mario. In the case of video game movies, he set the bar very, very low. You kids around here thinking that Sonic looks bad? She. Look at this Mario. Just the default Mario that everyone knows, right? Here he is in the movie. Here's Yoshi. Here's Bowser. Here's a fucking Goomba, not a Koopa, because that's too similar. No, that thing is a Goomba. Watching these out-of-touch Hollywood executives try to understand video games is like watching Tommy Wiseau try to play Dark Souls. And we want to open the door. Can we? Is it... Oh! Remember in the 40-year-old virgin where Steve Carell was playing Tony Hawk in this sweet gaming chair with these giant light sticks on each side? Get some road burn, come on! Come on! Shut, Shut the fuck up, Steve Carell! You can't control a video game with a chair, you goddamn fucker! Now look at this stupid-ass Ant-Man playing Xbox with a Nintendo 64 controller, you moron! That's the wrong one! Why does the Sonic from Wreck-It Ralph look more like Sonic than the Sonic from Sonic? Ever think about that? My only theory on this is that they don't actually have the rights to Sonic, you know? Like, they just made this entire movie without Sega's permission, and the producer had some dirt on Jim Carrey, like he killed someone in the 90s, so they blackmailed him to be Robotnik. It seems like I'm the only person on the internet who's actually disappointed with this new Sonic trailer. Like, people on Twitter are making all this great fan art where he looks more like the original design. There's one where he's the kid from Jumanji. Here's one that teases a possible Tails spinoff. They got big knuckles on this one for the poster. <laughs> So yeah, this movie looks great. Very excited to see where they go with the sequel. Maybe uh, they'll swap out Jim Carrey with Steve Carell like an Evan Almighty. That would be great.